Hi guys, what is good? It's Sharon, aka Shibble Shay, and welcome to my very first YouTube series out in Dubai. So today is my day one of a day in the life, and I'm also gonna take you through a gym workout as well. So what I thought would be an awesome idea is to get a videographer to come out with me to Dubai and to follow me on my journey of literally what I get up to, you know, days in the life, what I eat when I'm out and about, um, you know, not restricting calories in what exercises I do, what workouts I do, and yeah, just ultimately to follow me on my journey and help as many people as I can along the way who might also struggle with, you know, what know what to do in the gym and eating out without feeling guilty, etc. So welcome to day one. It's gonna be a super fun one. What we have planned is we're gonna do a nice little day in the life. Again, take you to a gym that's called TK MMA. It's one of the best gyms in Dubai. Definitely one of my favorite ones. And we're gonna do a full upper body session. Again, working on the bingo wings, etc. And we're gonna take you there and show you the journey. It's gonna be a good one. Costa, what to get? Okay, so because we're in Dubai, it's gonna be iced tea rather than anything hot. Because why would you wanna have hot when it's hot outside? <laughs> the hardest part about this is not getting all the treats in the fridge. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. <laughs> you need to stay with. So we are currently on our way to TK MMA. Like I say, it's one of the best gyms in Dubai aside from B1. And what I'm gonna train is upper body. So for example, back, biceps and triceps. Working on the bingo wings, really, really getting to grips as to why those exercises are good. And yeah, taking you on my journey of getting nice and sweaty in the gym. So this is the car for 10 days. We have a smart whip and it is called Neon Nemo. How cute, it's not your green. <laughs> So we are in TK MMA in Dubai and what we're gonna do today is back biceps and a little bit of a tricep workout as well. So yeah, come join me on my journey. Again, I'm gonna put all of the reps and sets actually in the bio in the description below. So let's do it. But a lot of my clients, a lot of my followers as well are unsure on knowing what other body workouts to do in the gym. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you through a gym workout in terms of training upper body, again, getting the bingo wings and targeting those areas so you guys can follow it and it's a hell of a lot easier for you. Dubai is so hot in here, man. Aircon, we need it on. So, next exercise is we're gonna do a back row. Again, this one works the middle of your back, which gives you definition and kind of dimples and such. Uh, so, nice close grip. We're gonna pull back and do a nice little C shape when we row. Again, in terms of getting engagement and kind of getting nice back muscles, that's the best way to do it in terms of engagement. So, let's get it. Exercise. Usually what we do is four sets on this one as well, increasing the weight each time. Love this exercise because it can get nice and heavy on it as well. Sorted. Ready. Ready to rock. Okay. So, two different grips. What we have here is a wide grip, which works like the out of your back here, your left. And then the close grip works the middle of your back. So let's get it. Get your ass in an apartment, 
put you inside a G class. That's just a start. It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is a thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimist gold medal. Hey, second set. We're gonna go a little bit heavier now. Increase the weight until we really start to struggle and feel that burn. So this is the outside outdoor area at TK MMA. Again, it's quite famous on Instagram for being an outdoor space to train in. There's not actually many gyms in Dubai that have this. But yeah, a lot of guys train with the tops off, so it's a major, major distraction when you're trying to work out. <laughs> uh, especially in the summer, so yeah, check it out, it's nice. So, lap pull down, slightly different to the actual machine um, lap pull down. I prefer doing them both because they both get a bit of a different hit and obviously you can change the position of your hand as well. So, for example, with this one, what you can do if you put your hands nice and wide like this is you can do uh, lap pull downs in front of your chest and you can also do them behind your neck, which again targets a bit of a different area. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go behind the neck this time. Four sets. Especially with back exercises um, and you know being in the gym, there's loads of different ways of doing them. So you need to try and get the angles in. So working on your lats, working on the close grip, um, again with the seated rows and things. So always try and hit different angles to get different areas, rather than repeating the same areas. Do you not see growth? An apartment put you inside a G class. That's just a start. It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimist. So, bicep curls. We have normal bicep curls like this, and hammer curls like this. Baby, I wonder. Baby, I wonder. Put your sweats on, put your sweats on me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm -hmm. There's a heavy one. There's a heavy one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, we got the big daddy weights now. Can I get the 12? Get that big bicep. Okay. Hi, just getting some air. Footage. Maybe on the footage. My old friends. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to upper body, I like to do back, biceps, triceps all together. Just to kind of incorporate all the upper body. Obviously, shoulders and triceps I keep as a separate day in terms of being a split day. So, triceps, make sure to keep your elbows in like this. Really important. Works the back of the bingo wings, gives you that nice definition. Set just to get a real burn. To finish off, I'm going to show you a hardcore finisher for your triceps. So yeah, <laughs> keep your eyes peeled for the last part. Okay, so 20 reps of these bad boys. Again, hands like this, make sure that when you push over your chest, your elbows are in line with the waist. As you can see, they're quite hard. But try it, it's a good one. my super killer upper body workout back biceps and triceps all in one get to work with finger wings as well now we're gonna go down to GBR area which is around the beach we're gonna, get, gonna go get some lunch show you the best options and what I eat in a day So we've 
just finished a gym session at TK MMA and at this beautiful location in GBR. Um, we eat in a place called Expectation and it literally serves as many eggs as you can imagine. Um, but we come here today, originally I was going to get a salad and keep it healthy but then I see a double cheeseburger on the menu. So ordered that and a few years ago I actually wouldn't have ordered this because I used to be quite restrictive in my diet. Um, again a few years ago I used to, well, I was thinking about doing a bikini competition and the diet was so strict to a point where I was eating like 1200 calories a day really strict, couldn't eat cheap meals, couldn't eat naughty meals throughout the week, um, couldn't even have like fizzy drinks and things like that. It was super strict to a point where once I realised I didn't want to do it anymore, I went the other way and binged and went out all the time, started drinking a lot more alcohol, um, again created a binge mode where I just went a bit off the rails and put a bit of weight on. So now, after creating the One Stumbling On program and following it myself, I can I don't feel guilty anymore, you know, eating those meals and ordering a burger on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, and I think it's super important to remember that if you are following a program or you are going out for food that, you know, don't, don't feel guilty for it, it's not the end of the world if you have a bit of a bad meal um, and enjoy socialising. As long as you don't go overboard and eat bad food every day, it is not the end of the world. So. Yeah, that comes to cheeseburger, and I'm excited to see it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so the last time I ate a burger was like five, six months ago, because like I'm more of a sweet person, like pancakes, chocolate, cake. So I'm going to enjoy this. Thank you. And not feel guilty for it. Life is short. Eat the food. <laughs> Restaurants are, and there's some nice little stalls with smoothies and pancakes. We're just debating whether I get a little Aki bowl because we love Aki. Never had it in my life, but we'll try it <laughs> and uh, try and counteract the burger that we've just had because that was naughty. So, yeah, welcome to GBR. No refined sugar, vegan friendly. Listen, this is better than a chocolate um, chocolate ice cream or pancakes. <laughs> So we are back in the apartment now after a successful day of a day in the life and doing a nice workout. So yeah, back doing some work, doing some online check-ins, making sure that my clients are up to date and everything is going cush. So yeah, check-in time. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and I shall see you in day two. Yeah, you so in